So, this is my Colchester lathe, and a few days ago I was performing a little bit of maintenance on it. I was checking the oil levels in the, the main uh, gearbox and the threading gearbox. Um, one of the things I was concerned about is the oil level glass. Um, you couldn't read this, this one, the lower one. Uh, you can make out the one at the top, the one at the bottom you couldn't. Um, I thought maybe it was uh, dirty oil or old oil or maybe the window had got um, clogged up. So I decided to uh, drain the oil. First thing that happened was I took the oil plug out and nothing came out. So I was concerned that maybe it was running dry. Took the top off, took the, uh, the bolts out and oil flooded out. Um, very dark, almost, um, almost like a syrup, um, a very, very thick oil. So it had obviously been in there for a long time. I should, when I bought the lathe, I should have checked it. However, I didn't. So I thought it was time to, uh, to fix it. So I took the, the front case off. As I say, all the oil came out. That's all cleaned up. Um, the issue I had was the gasket that was connected uh, was now perished, it split. I was unable to um, use it again. So I put the case back on without the gasket and put a little bit of oil in. Now obviously you can see the towel at the bottom here. That's been collecting the drips, so it's time now to um, put a seal on to prevent any more oil loss. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do today. So I've just brought you over to the bench just to show you the condition that the gasket is actually in. Um, as you can see, it's unusable. Um, there's <laughs> what it's made from, it's um, completely corroded away. Um, it's, it's rotten. Um, obviously it's had time to dry out, which doesn't help, but um, this can't be reused. It's, it's just crumbling away. So instead, uh, I'm not going to actually use um, a gasket material. Um, I know I should, however, I found that um, using gasket, gasket sealant, um, I think this is a, a suitable replacement. Um, it will do the job. Uh, as I say, if enough people complain and say that I should put a gasket in, then I'll replace it, replace it with a gasket. Um, but I don't personally think that it's necessary. This, this will do a good, good enough job. The, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all of the oil that's already on it. Um, this is to um, prevent the silicon seal when I, uh, when I apply it from just peeling straight back off. So I'll be doing the same on the main body as well. The, uh, the gasket also doesn't have to go all the way around. You can see where the uh, selector is here. It, it's actually broken by the body of the, uh, of the lever. Just using a bit of brake cleaner to uh, get rid of any of the residual oil. over at the lathe the same thing so to clean off the oil off the face where the gasket or where the seal needs to go just to make sure that the um, si the uh, silicone adheres to both sides And then bring the faceplate back in. The two alignment pins, there's one on the bottom left and one on the top right. As I say, the, um, these are the brass blocks that can move around. So these need to be aligned 
with the gears. the bolts back in. Once the bolts are in, wipe off the excess that's squirted out of the side. Then replace the oil plug from the underneath. Place the piece along the top. This uh, doesn't require any um, sealant as the uh, the oil level doesn't come up to this this height. Okay, so that's all the parts back on. When the lathe was made, they recommended a uh, shell tullus. That's no longer available. However, the, the nearest equivalent is uh, ISO 32. I happen to have uh, a big drum of it out the back, so um, it should be okay. And I'm going to fill it up to the level indicated. This process takes a little while as there's, there are two chambers. The oil falls into this side, but there's also uh, the chamber on the other side. And there are a few oil hole, holes that allow the, the oil level to equalize on either side. That's why it came up. It's now going back down because it's slowly moving across to the other side. Apply the oil a few times until the uh, level levels out. You can see it's going down again here. And there we go. So oil levels up to where it needs to be. No leaks. Job done.